Joining us tonight, Professor Fred Watson, Senior Astronomer here at Siding Spring, thank giving him a warm Whoa. round of applause. Welcome to Siding Spring. Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. Gamilla Roy woman and astrophysicist Carly Moon. <laughs> You look incredible. You've gone very cosmic here. Yeah, like well, it's the occasion. It is. Too. If you can't do it now, when can you yeah. do it? That's what I say. Dark energy expert Professor Tamara Davis is back with us. Yeah. Yeah. You saw her early on. And, of course, our champion, Professor Lisa Harvey-Smith, on the couch as well. <laughs> and this guy, <laughs> Professor Brian Cox. Hi, Brian. What? We had the moon in our sights, obviously, during this wonderful world record stargazing attempt. Take a look, everybody, at this beautiful image that, uh, of the moon. It was sent to us by stargazing viewer Charles Street. Carly, you're a Gamilaroi woman, and what role do moon halos have in Indigenous astronomy? Well, Julia, thank you. I am a Gamilaroi woman. We are in Gamilaroi country we right are. now. Shout out to my mob up kind of <laughs> east a little bit, two hours. Um, this amazing image from Charles, it's, it's beautiful. So not only were main ha moon halos, sorry, this beautiful image um, to see of, of the nighttime, but they, they were an indication of, of cold weather. Um, that's how they form through uh, ice, ice crystals, light being refracted through ice crystals in the, <coughs> sorry, in the atmosphere. Um, so they had, they had this indicator of, of cold weather, but more than that, they had an indicator of rain, like a looming storm. And so Gamilaroi country in particular had this method of determining how far away the rain was. So how they did this is they counted the stars between the moon and the halo ring. So this is a 22 degree halo that we're seeing. Uh, and depending on how many stars they could see between the moon and the halo indicated how far away the rain was. So it had this really practical application as it's well. Really beautiful. So it's giving you a sense of the clarity of the atmosphere and the yeah. moisture in the upper atmosphere. Yeah. But, it, but it must also be giving you a sense of the season because some seasons have more stars mm. in that part of the sky than others. So it's a very, very clever piece of technology, yeah. is that? Yeah. I should say I saw one last night, actually, here at Siding yeah. Spring. So every, yeah. everyone's been out looking at the moon at the star passes. You know, if it's cold there, certainly around here, uh, maybe Canberra, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Maybe you've got a chance uh, to see uh, one. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Join us tomorrow. See you. <laughs> Bye.